Hey guys, this is Chad Judis, the host of a new and growing podcast called The Art of Suffering. Our mess becomes God's message. I'm a motivational speaker, an award-winning author, a former theology teacher and Catholic educator, as well as the current director of the Office of Catechetics for the Diocese of Lafayette, Louisiana. At 20 weeks within my wife's second pregnancy and a routine ultrasound, we were told our son Eli was diagnosed with a birth defect called spina bifida. Spina bifida is a neural tube defect, a medical term for our spine, that occurs in the first six weeks of a pregnancy. There are different types of spina bifida with different degrees of severity. Eli has the most severe form of spina bifida called a myelomeningocele. This is when the spinal cord protrudes through an undeveloped opening in the child's back along their vertebrae and floats out into the amniotic fluid throughout the gestation of any pregnancy. Roughly 1,500 children are born with this lifelong birth defect annually in the United States. And tragically, 80% of those children diagnosed with this condition in utero are aborted because of a false narrative that suggests eliminating their anticipated suffering is compassionate. Despite being limited to a wheelchair and facing several medical challenges, they often defy medical odds while living fulfilling lives that teaches others selfless love and provide perspective to an individualistic and self-absorbed world. If you or someone you know has been impacted by this diagnosis, either during or after a pregnancy, I would encourage you to view a short documentary film of our family's journey on this YouTube channel. Read my books, check out my podcast, or reach out directly to me through my website at chadjudice.com. The greatest fulfillment in our humanity is not pushing others aside for our own benefit, but rather it's pushing ourselves aside for theirs. Smash that like button below. Leave a comment and share or subscribe to this channel for more inspirational and transformative content. And be a voice for life and let God take your mess and turn it into his message.